Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw an Among Us crewmate running. It's going to be a little bit different from the last one. We're doing this on Procreate using an iPad, and right now I'm using an Apple Pencil. Uh, you can do this with anything. I think you can even do this with your finger. So, uh, but yeah, let's get started, okay? It's going to be really simple for beginners, so let's get let's get into it. I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to draw a slight curve for kind of the top of the, the crewmate's, uh, kind of that lens that he has on his face. So curve right there. Let me draw a little bit bigger, like that. I'm gonna go down the side over here and I'm gonna draw a curve on this side. Curve right here. Let me know if you want more, um, you know, iPad or Procreate drawings, uh, cause I'm gonna try to put one every single day. That's my goal, in addition to the other one. Curve over here on, for this side of the lens. The cool part, to undo, you just press two fingers to the actual, so right now, press two fingers to the, you know, the, the screen right there, and that's undo. If you want to redo, you can do this, three fingers, two fingers, see? Three fingers is to redo it, and then uh, two fingers to undo. Curve underneath. So we have that screen that uh, crew mates tend to have right there. Curve line here for the top of the, uh, for the front of the forehead. Curve back for kind of that top of the skull area. Down, down right here. Oops. Let's go lower actually for the back. Curve down here for the back. You kind of leave this. We can erase this line. So go to the top over here. Select the eraser tool, and then we can just kind of like repair that line there. Go back to the brush. Uh, don't forget I'm using the, uh, right here I'm using the cartoon brush set, the standard. You can download that uh, pretty much at the link in uh, like at the bottom of the screen. Go to the Gumroad. There's a lot of free stuff there too as well you can download, so go take a look at that. Downward right here for kind of the front of the body area. And a curve back for underneath, right there, the lower portion of the body. His leg's gonna be running, right? Because he's he's running, so we're gonna go curve right there as the leg goes back, back over here, and line down right there for that leg that's kind of curving backwards. Line out over here, down, up for the front leg. We can go find his backpack over here. Usually I start the backpack about halfway, like around this level, you know? So up over here, so halfway across that lens. Down, down, you can do it like that. <clears throat> and so after what I usually do is, if I don't have the lines the way I correctly want them, but I can go up and down the size of the brush over here on the left side. Um, I can just kind of fix the lines a little bit. I might want a little bit of thickness added to it. So I'll just go over here and kind of repair it at my, uh, let's see, just kind of repair it at my leisure, which is like the fun part of all this. Right on. Go over here. So let's go over here. The cool part about this is that we can throw color on here pretty instantly. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna in the top right hand corner select that circle where it was dark. And I'm gonna pick a color for him. So let's just pick um, kind of like a yellow. We never really make yellow crewmates, huh? Let's go with like a green. Go with a green, and then I'm gonna go over here, and I'm right here I'm selecting for either the the saturation. So saturation is how much color you want in it. So low saturation you're gonna have more of a gray, gray green, and then high saturation you're gonna have more of a, you know, uh, more of a color infused green. And we can go up right here for light and dark. That's kind of what we're doing. Like I said, don't forget download that brush set. 
Um, I have the link below. Uh, it'll be the first link. Go check that out. That's very useful. What I'm going to do over here is I'm going to, once I selected the color, I'm going to go over here and drag it and drop right there. See, it just colors the whole thing instantly. Go here, curve right here, right there, and you're kind of we're kind of dropping it all over the place. I'm going to go over here now, and I'm going to go to the select tool, uh, that little arrow, maybe the next one over, the S. And I'm going to put freehand right here on the bottom selections. And I'm going to kind of do a um, circle right here, kind of a curve. And I want to like select this area right there like that. You can barely see it on the screen. You really can't see it, but I selected all the outer area. And we're on the same layer. And I'm going to go over here now and Go to the green and, and drag it to the bottom right hand. So down to the right. So higher saturation and lower value. And I'm going to go over here back to the brush select and I'm going to drag it and drop it in there. Drop it in here. Drop it in here. And then go right back to uh, maybe get rid of that. And see how you have like a shadow now? It looks like it's like a spotlight going on. Go back and rewatch this if you need to. I don't want to like lose anybody. I'm gonna go over here back to the color area, and I'm gonna go more toward the gray. And I'm gonna go put some blue gray over here. And we're gonna throw in maybe like right here. And we're gonna drag it into the lens right there because that lens needs uh, some coloration as well. Like I said, hit that like button if you like this. If you like Among Us stuff, I'll put more Among Us stuff as well. Back to the selection tool again, that S over here on the top left hand corner, freehand. And then right here I'm going to select just this area because I want to color in the dark part of the lens. Go back to the color, select color, drag down to the right a little bit. Curl over here, drop it in. And now go over here and press the S again to unselect all that stuff. And now I have that shadow as well on the lens. The last thing I do is I'm going to select pure white if I can. So, <coughs> let's go to the pure white. And just with a brush, I'm going to go over here and put like a like a highlight right there. Just going to run it right there. Lastly, if you really want to do this, you can go to the bottom, go to black, and maybe throw like a line right here like he's like jumping, right? So it makes him look like he's running. And I kind of like doing that because it looks like that's the floor and he's like in motion. That's it. I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to download those brushes. Uh, go to the link, go to the Gumroad. Uh, that's pretty much it. I will talk to you in the next video. Say hi to me in the comment section and uh, let me know some other stuff you want to see on Procreate and I'm gonna add these lessons on as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.